One of the reasons that I originally bought my iPod Touch was that I wanted to have a mobile text entry device. Uh, basically a way to take notes electronically when I was away from my computer. So then when I got home I could transfer that uh, text electronically from the iPod back to the computer and incorporate it into whatever, whatever I'm working on or just uh, save it as a, as a note or a record. But I found that the on-screen keyboard on the iPod doesn't really give me the typing speed that I would prefer. Um, it's, it seems kind of cumbersome to me. Now when you type on this in the portrait mode like this, it brings up this little keyboard which takes up about half the screen. And it's, it's fairly good, if, but uh, you know, you kind of have to uh, just poke at it with one finger, and it's not really fast typing that way. Um, and if you hold it sideways, it brings up the landscape keyboard, which, you know, the keys are, are a little bit bigger, and I thought that this would be better. Um, but I don't really like typing with my thumbs like this. I thought this this would be good if I could put it down and then like type with two fingers instead of one finger. Uh, but it's, but from my personal experience, I'm finding that holding it like this and just typing with one finger is easier and faster than than doing it with the landscape keyboard. Now my iPod Touch is a fourth generation, so it does have a Bluetooth chip in it, which allows it to work with Bluetooth keyboards. So I did some uh, research online and looked at the various options, uh, but I did want to get one that folded up because the because the iPod is pocket sized and I take it with me, you know, in pockets without taking a bag or a suitcase or a briefcase or anything. Uh, so I wanted a keyboard which also would fit in a pocket. So that was one of my criteria. The one that I chose was the Think Outside stowaway Bluetooth keyboard. So this is the keyboard. It came in this little plastic case. Um, now these are available on Amazon but I would not recommend getting it on Amazon. Um, now these aren't being made anymore so you have to buy it used. And I saw one on Amazon um, which was new in the box which they're they're selling it for like $395 which is which is ridiculous um, but there were some that were more reasonable uh, but I I decided to get mine on eBay and I found this one I think on Amazon it's called the iGo keyboard it this the same model was released with a few different brand names but this is the original one the think outside as you can see on the label there it has the instructions here on the label to connect this to a device you have to uh, press the control and both function keys simultaneously and uh, alright well okay takes two AAA batteries right there and this has a folding stand here the way you open it you press this button and sort of slides out and then clips in here and one thing I've noticed on this one, I don't know if you can tell, you look at the Y key. The Y key kind of sticks, so after I open it I have to like uh, pull that up. And I think, uh, I don't know if that's just a limitation of the of this model or just this specific one. I was thinking there might be like a burr on one of the switches in there that holds that down that I might be able to fix, but I'm, I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, as soon as I open this, my uh, my iPod turned on. So I'm just going to type my password here. Now these two are paired, so that whenever this opens up, it automatically turns on and connects with the iPod. I can just uh, start typing. And if you'll notice, I'm able to type here, but it does not have the half the keyboard 
um, on the screen. So when this is paired to it, it doesn't have the keyboard on the screen. So it gives you, um, you know, a view of more of, the, of what you've typed in. And it also, of course, works landscape. I don't know what to type here, but uh, now this one I bought on eBay and I paid about seventy dollars for it, which I admit is quite a bit for a used keyboard. But this one had all the criteria that I wanted. Um, it folded up so that it would fit in your pocket. It uses actual, key, you know, real uh, laptop-style keys with a with a scissor switch underneath there instead of like some of these you just see like they have like rubber pads and there's like a rubber bubble that when you push it down it makes contact and that types the character. Um, and I don't like those. I, I very much prefer this type of keyboard that has actual moving keys on it. And it does save some space by not having a number key row up here with the one through nine, one through zero or whatever. Um, but you can still type the numbers by holding down the blue function key and then holding down then typing this top row. This is where the numbers are. And to type the symbols, like you hold down the green function key and then then type the top row. Of course, it's got the two shift keys: enter, backspace, and delete. Um, so it, uh, yeah, it works. It works great as far as I'm concerned. I've used this a few times going to libraries or or if I'm out, uh, like in a diner. I used it once in a diner. I don't know. People look at me kind of funny when I pull this thing out, but uh, if I'm if I'm if I'm going someplace and I want to uh, do some serious typing and not just you know scribble a few notes here and there, um, I will definitely bring this with me. To close it, there's like a button that you pull here to delatch it, and you just. Uh, Close it like that. Then as soon as it closed, you can see the keyboard opened on the on the iPod. So I can continue using this if I want. Now one one small criticism of this is this this thing is kind of spring loaded and it does it doesn't really stay shut when you close it. I think it's supposed to like close and then click, but it doesn't. Um, but when I'm carrying it somewhere I do keep it in this uh, case and of course that keeps it closed so that's my review of the think outside folding Bluetooth keyboard I do recommend it uh, if you can if you don't mind spending around 70 bucks for well I bought this for 70 I think a better price for this would probably be somewhere in the 30 to $50 range if it's used. Um, so, you know, when you're shopping, keep that in mind. It's definitely not worth more than 100 bucks. So that's all I got to say about that. Uh, thanks for watching.